What's How old were you? Uh, and we're live again. Sorry about that. I was in eighth grade. Really? Wow. Yeah. I was and, uh, late on the train. For what, sure. You didn't, you didn't start doing trains till you were how old? <laughs> oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was just right there. I just. Um, yeah, that was a pretty steamy stash. Um, and then in ninth grade and tenth grade, I had like a identity crisis, and I started hanging out with terrible people. Yeah. Um, he did. But I did get a lot of kisses out of it, so you know it's fine. Oh God. Didn't like yeah. That I was. I don't know. I was just like kind of in love with one girl throughout all of high school. So. Also, it was ugly. Yeah, she was so, Judy, Judy Dench. Dame Judy Dench. Judy Dench. That girl grew up to be Judy Dench. That girl grew up to be... Oh, God. That girl grew up to be Daniel Radcliffe. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, what the fuck was I going to say? Uh, I li Yeah, I liked when you, me, and Chance had our fucking quote-unquote band practices. Yeah, whatever those were. Whatever those were, that was fun. Back when I couldn't write music, yeah. For one night, we all were playing GameCube, and me and Chance were just eating fucking raw cookie dough. That was just disgusting. Oh, we yeah. Were, Holy shit. We were all up to like, 6 in the morning. Yeah. It was God. really fun. Yeah, we had a ton of nights like that. And then, anytime we ever did that, we always did the same thing. We would wake up, go up in the living room, and play Little Big Planet. Yeah. That was the shit. Yeah, in his yeah, in his living room, yeah. Fucking hell. Yeah, I uh I miss Chancellor's old house. I I definitely got to say my goodbyes to it. I, I spent the night there like fairly um late in its span of them living there, but yeah. I liked that house. Me too. Fucking, can you Mario, I will fucking Um So how did you feel about like your middle school experience in general then? It's fucking garbage. Are you kidding me? I don't think Do you think it's supposed to No, but like is it supposed to be better? Say I don't think anybody's supposed to like it. Yeah. It's fucking terrible. Uh, well, everyone's just getting fucking acne and everyone's always horny and getting obsessed with drama. People I didn't like, get my phone until I was in like a sophomore year. Yeah, people are like, dude, dude, fucking well, fuck, man, they had a good time. No, the fuck they didn't. If you think these little stuck-up little pieces of shit had a good time, no, they didn't. Yeah. They just, they just thought they just wanted people to think they had a good time so they could make you feel like shit. That's all. Mm. That's a very choice. They weren't having a fucking good time. I was having a good time when I wasn't in school. When I was hanging out with my buddies, I was having a fucking good time. Then I went to school and I wanted to fucking shoot myself, but. I just wanted to fucking, 24-7, I was stressed yeah. out about school and middle school. Yeah, me too. 24-7, it's fucking eighth, horrible. I mean, eighth grade, I think, in a weird way, is kind of the shit. I won't lie. Uh, I was starting to come into my own. I was starting to, um, this is going to sound so fucking weird. No, I didn't with it. I was starting to come into my own fucking sexuality. Why? Like, what, what do you mean? I was a boy on the grind, smooching bitches, getting it, do, doing my own What do you shit. mean, though? What do you mean, though? What do you mean? I was, like, getting in my element. Like, I was, I felt like I was looked at, like, cute by some girls. Oh, know? okay. So, yeah, sure. Just, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then, yeah, I mean, the, the talent show was cool at the time. Um, yeah, and then I had cool teachers. Um, yeah. yeah, oh, that's right, yes. Yeah. We had them all in. Yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't like our I didn't like our math teacher or our history teacher that year. I don't remember who our math teacher was. No, it's all dude. Oh fuck! I'm so stupid. Doc it. Me and him are cool. Don't say his but like I name. Huh? <laughs> oh fuck! My bad. Um, <laughs> uh, his name was uh, Crocker. Um, oh yeah, actually, kind of. He was cool, but like I said, man. Anytime, most of the time. Uh, except when we had Benjamin Franklin. Um, wow, I'm surprised you remember her. Um, like, but even she was nice to me. Like, even after after the fucking after the talent show, she came up to me and like was super nice to me and like was complimenting me and shit. So even then, I still pulled a, I still pulled it. 
like even with teachers that I wasn't doing great in their class or like maybe some other people thought they were shitty, I just was always charming. And I don't care how Wow, that is a weird way to remember I things. I don't care how shitty that sounds of me, but I, don't I would. I think that sounds shitty at all. I would, I would like I would reference shit from their time and they'd be like, Oh, oh he's funny and <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's funny. Yeah. And we just uh, don't want to say he's gay yet. Yeah, I'm pretty much. But uh, yeah, always oh, a pleasure to have in class. Um, but wow. yeah, but yeah. Then you know my eighth grade English teacher that I still talk to is the shit. And yeah, um, I wish her the best for sure. Yeah, she's she's awesome. I gotta text her back actually. Um, you have her number? Yeah. Home record. No. 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 Uh, no. Her phone no. Number. Uh, her social security number. I'm gonna ruin her life. Oh my god. Okay. No, she's the shit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think eighth grade was the best for middle school. But then ninth grade, I was like, oh. <laughs> I, was like, uh, I was like, oh, cool. But I mean, I just hated high school. Me too. I liked it Fuck. significantly more than middle school, though. I guess, man. It was a blur. I hated it. I hated everybody. Yeah, yeah. You hate everyone. You hate yourself. Yeah. Oh my God. Go, 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 go. Yeah, I mean, the, literally the only good times of that time were when we weren't in school, which is an obvious statement. Yeah. Well, I liked theater and I liked improv and I liked band. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I only cared about those things. I loved band. I'm sure you did. <laughs> I loved band and not. Battle of the bands is fun. You did that. I did not. Are you fucking... Yes, you did. No, I didn't. That's none of your gotcha camp business. <laughs> I, was, I was there. I wasn't in your band, I guess. Yeah, this is weird. We never performed together. I know. It was because everybody was too uppity and took it too seriously. What are you talking about? <laughs> you remember? You punched me. No. You went, fuck you, and the horse you came in on. We're not friends and you're not talented. And then you punched me. You're good at this. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I I did take it a little seriously my senior year because I because we were like the school's band at that point. I was like, "Fuck! If we lose this, what happens to us?" Um, yeah. But you guys weren't even in like there were different brackets, and there's the band bracket, and then this solo and duo bracket. Yeah, um, I don't know. I didn't really give a shit. I just thought it was fun. I was like, alright. It's weird to give a shit about it, and you sh totally shouldn't, but I had, like... No, I understand why you did. Yeah. I completely understand. I just didn't. I was like, oh, this is fun. It was fun. Uh, and it was cool to get out of school and to uh, fucking... Especially my senior year when I did... Well, no, wait, did I... I think you I did it. Oh, I did it when I was a senior, and then I did it my first year graduate. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, I was there for that yeah. too. Because I wasn't, because I left that piece of shit school when I was a senior. Lucky. It was. It was the best decision I've ever made in my life. Decision. Decision. I was hoping you didn't pick up on that. I fucked up. Got him. I fucked up, Chief. I really fucked up. She's dead. Wait, that was a decision for you? I thought you were moving. Or like you're gonna go live with your mom. I mean, no, dude. I could have stayed in Talmadge, but I was like, no, man. They fucking treat me like shit. Yeah, they treated me like shit. I don't blame you. I was like, fuck that. And then, oh wow, look at this. I went to a school where they teach you the same curriculum, but the teachers are just a little bit more compassionate. You remember our freshman year? The fucking, well, even in middle school, the grading curve, yeah. um, it was way I mean, too hard. I don't remember, all, well, yeah, I think by the time I was a sophomore, I didn't give a fuck, so I don't remember much of freshman year, because, like, I was out of it for the first half. Yeah. And, uh, once I came back, they just did not, my, you know, my eighth grade teacher, that I actually found this out from when I went uh -huh. to see her before I moved, um, because I was like, yeah, man, I was, like, in the hospital, and, like, in a hospital bed, and then I had to take, like, trauma therapy afterward. Yeah. Even though my heart had already fucked up at that point, like I, I was mentally like prepared for it. Um, yeah. But she's like, they didn't provide you with a tutor. I go, no, they just gave me a bunch of paperwork, and then we're like, well, I guess we can give you an online class if you just go in this room. She goes, Jesus no, they have to legally person. provide you with like a tutor. 
And I was like, oh, oh my God. Are you shitting me? I was oh like, damn. God. So I don't, I didn't feel, feel nearly as bad for fucking off after all that shit. Holy shit. I don't know how I kept passing. I really don't. I, like when I say that, I really have no fucking idea. No, no, I, I totally get it. Uh, me too. And I, I'm mad because it's like, I'm my kidding. issue could have been fixed with a single fucking pill. Dude, and no I fucking one know. Me. They did a half ass way. They brought in somebody and were like, we're going to ask you some questions. And she asked me like a couple like edgy, like fucking like quiz questions. And I was like, uh, this. And she goes, yeah, you don't have anything. I'm go, that doesn't prove anything, oh, you fucking uh, bitch. And then my doctor was like, yeah, no, we should probably go further into that because this doesn't sound great. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Cool. Okay, somebody has what fucking the answers. Fuck. Like, somebody's got some fucking answers for me. These people what just the asked hell? me a couple questions that do not correlate with anything. And we're like, no, Holy you're shit. fine. They pretty much were like, no, you're fine. You're just fucking up because you're a piece of shit. What 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 does that even mean? To, no, you're fine. It's like no, we've established there's an yeah. Issue. No, I remember I felt crazy. I was like, are you guys fucking serious? Yeah, <laughs> that makes I, you feel like shit as a kid too. Yeah, I was like, am I the asshole here? What's happening? Yeah, wow, wow, wow. See, it, I was. I was scared of whatever the outcome would always be, so I was just trying to procrastinate it. Um, yeah. Which I was good at. I was very good at that. It got me to college. I don't know how, but it did work out. Um, well, yeah, man, like I said, I was, and I just even said, I was like, hey, I'm gonna be honest, teachers just don't give a shit, sorry. Because I just don't think it's a coincidence that these, uh, these classes that I've struggled with before, you finally give me a good teacher, um, yeah, and then I just do it really well, and it's very easy for me. Our ninth, gr our ninth grade math teacher was really good. I really, I really thought she was a good teacher. I did really well in that class. Oh yeah, she was a sweet lady. I think I was. I think I got one of the top scores for the final, and I was like, oh, that's Damn. fucking cool. I was like, I didn't know I could do that. That's fun. Felt bad for her. Can deal me with some too. kids. Yeah, I mean. I, I and I retain none of this information, by the way, everybody. I, I, I don't I don't remember anything. I don't even <laughs> remember I don't even remember how to do long division. I don't fucking I don't either. I I, I mean I could. I, that makes me I couldn't. I'm not gonna even say that I couldn't. I got so. real good at mental math for a while there because there's this video game I, I would play called Enter the Gungeon. It's super repetitive, so I just listen to fucking math problems, just trying to like be like I'm not stupid. Can um, I can I can I be honest with you? What's that? So, like, how, did you, when, like, they would make you study and shit, would you, like, read textbooks and go through shit and certain chapters and stuff, right? Fuck no, because if I would oh, retain cool. it, then I would have retained it the first time. Why would I? Why so, would this I is the thing. James? Before, yeah. <laughs> this is the fucking. I have never, as far as my time in the Ohio State fucking, you know, education system. Yeah. I have never studied once in my fucking life. Wow. For school or? Or school. In, I have for never. school or anything. School. I never studied okay. once. I just hope sometimes they would give me, because I did good on tests for the most part for some reason. And I was like, hey guys, maybe it's, maybe I'm just not doing this shit because you guys yeah. are fucking up. But I would do good on tests for the most part, but I never studied. I remember one time I tried to read a chapter of a book, and I was like, oh, fuck this. I'm just yeah. going to go. I'm going to go, never I'm gonna go out. I was like, what the school. fuck am I, I – even with notes, I never – I was just like, I hope they fucking let me read notes on the test. I was like, yeah. oh, my God. This is studying? Fuck that. I'm going outside. <laughs> 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 Too, but without the outside part. Yeah. Oh my god, I'm going deeper in my house. Oh my god, I'm going <laughs> deeper. Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, I I don't blame you for that, and I think that that's super common. I I definitely studied for a few things, but yeah, I did it. It was only when I, I had to. Like, yeah, uh, I never, I never did. I never fucking did. I would look at notes maybe before tests, like two minutes before tests, but that's not really studying. That's just like memory yeah 
Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, which like, I don't I never, have a good one. I, I never, I never studied not once in my life. No, <laughs> I well, cause, like I said, and it's I like why would I retain it from studying if I'm not going to retain it in class? Yeah, I think that's just. I think it's funny. I'm going to yeah, go I mean, fucking that's, play that's video like, games and drink Nyquil <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> until that, I forget about it. Yeah, this is my time, motherfuckers. Yeah. Um, For real, I, I agree. I only think homework should be used to catch up. Pretty much. I mean... It's very did, manipulative. To the way they did... They, the way they did homework in the falls was kind of cool. What did they do? Was it like that? Uh, yeah, like they didn't have any. Yeah, I think it should only be to catch up. Yeah, I mean, that's really... That was really... Yeah. Um, it was fucking sick, man. It was titties. Like, that's pretty... Yeah, it was pretty much... <laughs> <laughs> it was used as like <laughs> I'm never gonna stop saying that. I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's Teddy. Um, oh my God, it's, it's weird uh, too because you say what I say. Because um, when something's cool, I say brilliant, and you say you just said yeah, I think it's brilliant. <laughs> and then, but you you found a different word for it. It's like yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, it's titties. Yeah. Um, what what do you fucking plebs call it? Yeah, yeah it's um, it's Teddy. But, uh, yeah, I, it, it just, it's, yeah, I mean, I had good teacher. Well, that's my thing. If I have a good teacher, I'm not saying if I have a good teacher, you, if you have a good teacher, don't study. That's no. fucking hilarious. That's because I'm just not, I'm just the guy that doesn't do school. That's just not me. Totally. Um, but I will say when I had good teachers, I did better on most things. I did. I, st I, I still, I still wasn't studying, but I was still doing well and retaining information. Dude, I'm gonna be honest with you now. Um, you you kiss the teacher. I would just expect to do incredibly poorly on every test. Like, yeah, I mean, like, dude, I gotta see, and I'm just be like, uh, yeah, it's so fucking tragic. <laughs> me too. I mean, even though I did decent most of the time, I was always like, uh, I yeah, I expect. I was like, they're like, oh, what did you think you get, Joey? And I was like, do you really? Do we care? Do we really care? Why are we talking about this? Because we don't have a job to talk about. <laughs> but, uh, I was like, no, I think I'm getting shipped in the morning. <laughs> They're like, what? I go, I'm getting shipped to Switzerland. There's no way this text is good. I'm getting shipped to fucking Sweden or some shit. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done, guys. That's it. Well, I don't like that. I mean, you know, getting your diploma slash GED is totally important. Um, no, yeah. I'm, I mean, I loved, you know, walking the stage and shit was fucking sexy. It was titties. Really? Yeah, I, loved, I, I graduating was really fun. I loved my graduation night was awesome. Me and Richie hung out afterward. It was super fun. Um, sick. That's sick. Yeah, no, I mean, like I said, man, if I never switched schools, I, I wouldn't have graduated. And, um, you know, and that's that's the cool thing. But um, I, yeah, no, I mean, yeah, it was titties. But I, yeah, I was always, I was like, yeah, guys, I'm going to fuck. Yeah, I fucked up. I think they're going to beat the shit out of me. And they're like, who, the teachers? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I think they're going to kick my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, um, when I did what? have good teachers, I definitely did significantly better. But that yeah. was why. Like, my stats teacher, I definitely feel bad. Um, I should probably contact her. Because I, I definitely did vibe with her. But she definitely cared, like, a lot. And she had to drag me by my fucking ankles to, um, what was her name? Miss... Miss Ope's fuck. Yeah, whatever. I, I, I should probably contact her. But she had to drag me by my fucking ankles to get that math credit. And, Can you, know, you contact graduate. her? Can you contact her and be like, hey, it's James. You'd be like, huh? Be like, what are yeah. you doing? No, just be like, you might want to get tested. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Holy, okay. How do they expect you to do this one? I, don't, uh, I, I fucking it, hate it. It looks easy, but it's probably not the moment you get on there. <laughs> because they made these levels because they were worried that people were going to complain that it's like, oh, we want it to be more like Mario 64, where you don't have to fucking water pack. And here's the thing, Joe. I hate Mario 64. I know. <laughs> because it's this shit. <laughs> I so, know. Yeah. Uh, anyways, math, bitch. Um, uh, super sweet people. Um... Most math my, bitch. Yeah, most of my high school math teachers are lovely, actually. Um, yeah. It was weird, though, man. If I had a fucking hot teacher, you best believe you're the best teacher on earth because I'm not going to fucking pay attention for shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
you better how often believe did that happened a lot dude because i was because i like older women so like half of the time like half of the women i thought were attractive my buddies were like yeah but then and the I... other half they were like no but it was a hundo percent for me i and i i at, le at the very least i had one teacher a year that i was like fuck yeah so guess what when you're walking around looking that good you better be the best goddamn teacher on earth because i'm gonna get an f in your fucking class and you're gonna get a d yeah you, i i um, used to make that joke at the time fuck yeah it's it's very lazy are these supposed to be apple slices no there's no rhyme or reason for any existence <laughs> and then there's a fucking 8-bit mario in the background he's just fucking taunting you because it's like ah we <laughs> go fuck yourself james that's hilarious this is supposed to be fun um what was I going to say? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. About having a hot teacher. Actually, I want to save state here because I'm scared my controller is going to bug out. And if that happens, I want to be able to just jump right back in. If that um, happens, these teachers are going to beat the fuck out of me. Just the hot ones. Hot <laughs> ones. Hot ones. Back. Oh, we're bringing it back. It's a callback, bitch. It's a fucking callback, bitch. Um, my. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nope. Stop having, to... stop going to bars. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I, I, I don't know if I could ask you it though. You're part of the fucking problem. What were you gonna say, bitch? The there was a teacher you met. Yeah, at yes, a I'm, karaoke I'm, bar. I'm, I'm, I'm still very close with her. How old were we? Were we when that happened? I think I was. Uh, we're seven, eight, like seventeen. We were. Were we in school? Yeah, dude. I mean, I, that's when she was my. She was still my teacher at that point. Oh, uh, was there? Did she meet you at that bar? Did she just happen to be there? I was like, "Hey, I'm going here." Is that you weird? Know? No, I was cool with her. Apparently, I mean, she met you at a bar, and then you guys talked for a while. Yeah, no, she, a long yeah. while. Yeah, I'm still. You still in her. contact with her? Yeah, I just talked to how, her. Uh, how old is she? Ago. She's not even that much older than me. Yeah, I figured. It's just, I don't know. Um, she's only she's only sixty seven. <laughs> no, she was she was definitely in her early twenties. Yeah. I mean, she, sweet lady, I met her. Um, yeah, really fun. That was a fun. That was a fun. Oh my god, that was a fun time. What? That that night I thought was fun. Oh yeah, I I. It's like you, me, Joey, Rick. There's something think, else there. I don't think Joe. I don't think Rick was there. Maybe he wasn't. Was it? It was Joe. It was Joe. Yes, it was Joe. It was our friendly neighborhood beefcake, Joe. Beefcake, yeah. That's, he's a, now. that's just a fucking beefcake. Are you kidding me? He is. Yeah, he's fucking jacked now. Look at that dude. His fucking regiment is titties. Oh my god. Uh, he. I haven't talked to him in forever since the last improv show. Me neither. I uh, I texted him months ago and told him what a beefcake he was. Yeah, he didn't respond to me the last time I texted to him. Oh, I he's also him. friends with my ex-girlfriend, I think, so I'm just going to stay true. out of it. Yeah, that was like our little alternative group when he was around. Alternative was... group? Yeah. Well, no, like, like, yeah. Joe's badass. Joe's I was hanging out with like, you, Joe and Logan. Those are that was a little, that was a group. That was a fucking yeah. group. Me and, me and Joe were at that guy's house when we always went to his par when we yeah, went to parties. Saturday. Yeah, because we had nothing else to do, and I just yeah. wanted to see you guys. And, That's why uh, I was there. Yeah, and uh, me and him were like, is this terrible? And we we're like, yeah. So me and him got Taco Bell, and then we walked around the entire yard and neighborhood Aww. and had just like, we're talking for hours. Really? Wow, that's really yeah. cute, actually. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, he was, he's just, he's, he's fantastic. Fucking beefcake, by the way, that guy. I don't yeah. know if I said that or not, but he's a fucking beefcake. Wait, can you just do that? Can you just... Yeah, oh, fucking, If I get the front, too, I think I can. Oh, wait, maybe I can bait it. You're a slut. You're a slut just like your mother. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hey, Menthol, are you hungry? I'm full. No, he didn't sound like that. <laughs> yes, he did. James, stop it. Fuck! Wait, I got him. Yes. Do it again, motherfucker. Run it again. Oh. oh, well, that's not convenient to me. Oh my god, I'm gonna ink. Oh my god. What? <laughs> You're a slut. 
<laughs> hey, Menthol, you th Menthol, you thirsty? I'm dry. Oh my god. It's <laughs> like. <laughs> hey, Menthol, you want to go to bed? Are you tired? I'm crazy. I'm crazy. That's what I. Am. Sorry, <laughs> I was focusing on that son of a bitch. Um, God, my one teacher was very pretty. My senior year for. Alex, and she's the kind of teacher that all the football players thought they could get with her, but in reality, she's a teacher. <laughs> That's not going to happen. What subject? But, um, um, math, but it was on the computer. Like, we just went there. It wasn't black hair, was it? I don't remember. Cool. Her name started with MC. Oh. Uh... It, it was a Mick. Oh. I don't yeah, know. She's super, she's, oh, well, oh, well. Oh, I know who you're thinking of, though. She was a babe. I loved her. She was really nice to me and really, really nice. And she would, like, yeah. she would actually rub my shoulders, and I never had her class. Math teacher? I think she taught math. She had a tattoo? No, that was science. Okay, you're science. Thinking the, you're thinking of the one who really liked Chance. Yeah. We had some horny ass teachers. Holy shit. They did, man. One of them dated a student. Oh, yeah. Well, ex-student. Like, he was no longer a student, but yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm not defending it, but it's definitely well, no, no, no. fucked up. I could give a shit. If you're a senior in high school, I could really give a shit. If, no, if it's your student. I guess. Yeah, you're, you're if right. If it's your student. Yeah, but like, you're telling me that shit wasn't... Mm, there was a foundation there that got them to that point. So I think, yeah. some, I think some shit happened. It's, I mean, it's fucking likely. Um, okay. uh, but I don't think that, uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? These levels are, <sighs> there's a timer. Oh my God. Uh, oh, I already fucked it up. Well, incredible. So did uh did you it sucks. I didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's I don't know. People fucking love it. Um and say it's like why. their favorite game and it's a masterpiece. Uh, it's pretty and it's cute yeah. and the music's good. But it's like fucking and Mario feels good to control, but I don't know, the the backpack feels awful. The levels are gimmicky. I don't want to do his half ass this is shit. Fat. His ass is fat. His ass is stupid. I don't know. It's just better Mario 64, but by not much. Did you have a... Um, this is something I wish... I, I want you to ask your teacher. Um, your 8th grade teacher that you're still in contact with. It's like... Because I know she's done teaching. Yeah. Was it worth it? No, I think she enjoyed it for what it was when it was, you know what I mean? I just think it's changing and like, like I said, the fucking, the school, the new school is so shitty and I was like, it's for like a young fucking snot, snotty, like optimistic teacher that thinks they can change the world, you know what I mean? Like it's not, wow, it's snood, but yeah, I mean, it, it's just, like I said, man, the way they organized space in that fucking school is ridiculous there it's wasn't absurd there, there wasn't enough room for kids to eat lunch in the it's actual not viable yeah, yeah you're yeah. right yeah there wasn't enough rooms for all of the teachers it was they were constantly changing rooms it was stupid it was like they were trying to do google or something it was stupid yeah what was it we what was the first year after school for you like um were you happy like, did it like, feel normal? Were you happy you were finally there? I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. Um, I have no fucking idea what I'm going to do now, but... You really? Know, and, and then a couple months later, I was getting laid, and I was like, okay, this is fun. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, look, man. That, what do you think? It has nothing to do with... Yes, it does. The Does it? Yeah, because I hadn't really. You know? And I was like, okay. Wait, well, really? Uh-huh. Oh, shit. I thought you were in high school. Mm, and I was like, here we go. And I was like, cool. Here we go. I was like, all right. Wait, this is great. Has anyone tried this before? Is there, has anybody, do you guys know about this? Oh my God. I have to um, see, I regret it, per se. No. Me neither. I, I, I don't. With you, well, I, maybe I, I do. I do not at a motherfucking all. Holy shit. 
Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I was like, huh, this is weird. And like my first year out of high school, like my senior year in high school, I looked very different than any of my life prior. I just got chubby that year. I think I was I was a late bloomer with puberty. Um, I was chubby as shit. So I was like, this is weird. How do I stop this? <laughs> wow. And then I stopped wow. drinking soda, and that kind of helped. And That's I usually huge and then for I, your and skin, too. And then I started getting laid and shit. And getting paid. Gatorade. Getting paid, and then I dyed my hair, and I was like, all right, cool. And then I, was I, like, I liked your hair dyed. Thank you. It's dyed now. And I was like, it's, really? Yeah, it's it's fucking bleached. It's like my roots are coming in, but I need to I need to go back. I want it to be a little bit frostier, so I'm gonna whenever I got some extra cash, I'm gonna fucking yeah buy some shit. But uh, yeah, man, it was it was my set my 2018, 2017 was fucking titties of a year. Is that good or bad? You you kind of blur the line. I, no, I don't. Titties is good. Titties is fucking bombastic. Bombastic. <laughs> yeah, like you know, like Sean Paul. It's a give it a bomb bomb sh bombastic, you know what I mean? Thank you for that. Thank you, you're welcome. Uh yeah, 2017 was titties. Um titties all around, man. I I Why do you keep better dying? than twenty sixteen? Because I ran out of fucking time because I didn't see where the eight at seven, but I disagree. I disagree as well. This is this or the Legend of Zelda, and uh, I mean, at least this is hilariously bad. It, I don't get. You can laugh at me later. Like it's going to get really funny, and I'm going to get really mad. I was going to say this is ridiculous. I den genuinely don't know how anybody enjoys this. This looks like a nightmare to me. There's so many good platformers, dude, and I just I don't get what people see in this aside from its aesthetic being pretty great. It's pretty. Um, that's fucking it. It just looks ridiculous. No, fuck. Like that. What the fuck was that? I don't know. They just make shit. Like, why is it so hard to hit? Like, why do you do fucking... Also, what are these? What are these little fucking... What are these... They're bloopers, Joey. These, these horizontal they're bloopers. Fat, they look like a bunch of fat fucks to me. Why is he... Why is he... So what? He, he, starts, he starts clapping and that's how he swims? I don't know. It's a fucking squid. And why this are, is what some arms, people call very the fun. Fuck, fucking arms like that. His arms look like sleeves fucking hanging out of a suitcase. Little cigarettes. Yeah, I know. Is that his butthole? What the fuck is that? Oh, there it is. How the fuck was anyone... I'll have to fucking give it the old reach around, I guess. God. God. It, I... It's... I hate it. Yeah, it's not a good game. No, it's not. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. Uh. Go. Go. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll have to loop around with fucking Mach 4. Anyways, sorry. Um, I was complaining about Mario. That's what fun. If, so, why, what about 2017? Okay, you got laid. Sure. That's mm -hmm. fun. I was just kind of in my, I was in my element a little bit. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't a great year, but I mean, it was great. It wasn't great, it was, but it was great. Yeah, it was titties. Gonna fucking hit the. I is this Jet Set Radio? I would love to play Jet Set Radio on stream. Jetson Radio is a good game. I have not played it fucking in style. So fucking long. Yeah. Oh god. There's one more coin somewhere, and I couldn't find it last time, and I can't find it this time. Oh shit! It's on. It's on Steam for eight dollars. I didn't even know it was on Steam. Yeah. Fuck. That makes shit way easier. That's cute. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Did um, you? I'm... Oh, sorry. What's up? Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to be right back. I have to go oh. get some. Oh, I'll pee then. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. Bye, everybody. I'm on a guy. What? You're coming back. I'm going to die. No, you're not. <laughs> Thank you.
What's up, J-Dog? Oh, you're not there yet. Oh. Hello, stream. How's everyone? How's not everyone doing? <laughs> All right. Hey, welcome back. I made some s'mores. Really? Yeah. How? Uh, I lit my house on fire, James. Oh, okay. No, I did. I did it on the stove. Oh, I found it. I did it. Fuck. Thank. What? What? Yes. All right. Where is it? Where's the fucking start? Whatever, Mom, I don't even like the military. <laughs> how, how the fuck do you get that? Jesus, I fucking hate s'mores. Oh I hate God. this game. Yeah. Wait, then why'd you make s'mores? I don't know. You just fucking door dashed or something. Ugh! 
Oh my god, fuck. I don't hate s'mores. I like the idea of s'mores. The, what what does that mean? I mean all of the all of the the taste, the 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 ingredients, the process. But then the execution, I just get pissed and I just eat marshmallows by themselves because the s'mores are always too goddamn messy. Um well <laughs> Oh you know what I got one for you. Uh any filmmaker contacts you and says you can write and star in a movie or co-write and star in a movie what what filmmaker would you want it to be joey davis ah thank you that's very modest of you thank you um i don't know man i gotta be honest i have no idea it's not it's not even necessarily like who your favorite is but like who you'd work the best with no for sure for sure uh, yeah Is William Shakespeare dead? <laughs> that now that that's fun. Like I no, that, miss no, me that, with that. No, that's fun. That's fun. Miss me with that fucking Family Guy shit with the talking dog. That what? show's hilarious. Um, Logan. am I too hard on Family Guy? Um, yeah. <laughs> no, because there is shit that I still like about it. I, was, like, I quoted it earlier. I had something like, I definitely well, thought it was this funny. This is my thing. You and I used to think it was funny. Yeah, because I mean, we were fucking okay. kids. Well, no. How should I put it this way? I still think the weird guy thing is funny. What do you mean a weird guy thing? You're weird. You're a weird guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, shit like that I think is funny. Like, I think when Peter goes, the secret is in the frosting, but I'll never tell. <laughs> yeah. <And that's>, like, <laughs> That shit's fucking funny. But that was before he totally. folded in on itself. Folded in on itself. Yeah. Mario, exactly. what the fuck is going on? Yeah, oh, what is happening? <laughs> just, just to go. Oh my god, I'm so close. You should, to come in? Yes. You, you should just have a caption Thank that fucking says, god. This game is so great, and then just have a 20 minute clip of you trying to get on the dock. <laughs> so there was, um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the game Cuphead. Yeah. But there's a. My little, my little brother loves Cuphead. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a good game, but there's a reviewer who couldn't get past the tutorial. <laughs> and it's online of him struggling to do the tutorial. It's like, wow, you review games and you cannot get past this tutorial. That is it's so fucking weird. That the games journalism is like the laughing stock of any industry, I guess. Yeah. It's so successful too. I don't. I'm whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to do a rant on that right now. But ooh, Mario Sunshine. Holy shit. Um. So what was like uh, um, your most tragic moment in your life? Um, that you'd love to say in stream. Um. Yeah. Something. When you asked me if I wanted to go live tonight. <laughs> it's weird, because... Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to hit the king, kill the king, motherfucker. <laughs> I've never heard that. That's pretty great. Um, what, what, what are they saying? Hold on. Investigations are now underway. About fucking what? I didn't read it. Oh, great. It's gone. Okay. Um, were you asking me who's, like, the filmmaker I think I would work best with? Yeah, or will or would want to. Um. Well, I'm sure a lot of people my age would say, um, Wes Anderson or. Oh, Ari that's Anderson. a good answer. Well, no, that's not my answer. I think they're bad answers. Um. You think Wes Anderson's a bad answer? Yeah, for that question, just because I think like you know, I think any person my age wants to be that, but I'm sorry, but they just won't. Get over here, motherfucker. Like, um, I don't know. I think everybody my age that wants to make a movie just wants to make a coming of age story. Wow. Yeah. You're not wrong. Um, with what, Sufi and Stevens soundtracks? Yeah. That being said, Ari Aster. No, I'm kidding. Oh my god. 
I don't like it much. Um, That's way here. Yeah. What what is he made? Hereditary and all that shit. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Midsummer and yeah. Hey, you didn't like Hereditary? He knows how to film a scene. You know, he's got a good eye, but I don't know, man. Cult shit like that bores me when it's just the same shit. Oh, okay. I wish it would have been like an isolated ghost story or something. I thought it was cool because it was like a family drama that just happened to. Tony have all this other shit going on. Tony Collette was amazing. If the Oscars didn't She's amazing. Sense. I'm so excited for him thinking of ending things. Mm. Holy shit. I'm so excited. I got jazzed when I saw her in that. Yeah. It's only like, it's only four people, I think. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. That's a Netflix original, right? Yeah, on September 4th, I think it's going to be on Netflix. Nice. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who that would be for me to be complete. Oh, I think Lee Winnell. Who's that? He um, started as a writer. Um, he was James Wan's writing partner when they made the first Saw movie. Oh, shit. Wow. Sidious, Dead Silence. I was lucky enough to meet him, and he's like a fucking phenomenal guy. He's been, oh. like, one of, he's been like one of my heroes since I was like 11 years old. How much did James Wan do on Saw? What do you mean? Um... How many of the movies was he actually mm. working on? Only the first one, which is the good one. The the only good one. Yeah. yeah I've never heard that, anything after, good about the rest that, of them. After that, the studio franchised it and just made every penny they could because... Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. They just kept the doing first, fucking plot twists. The, they the, they, the, they the killed off one, characters and shit. The first one wasn't even really about the torture aspect. Um, it's just a really good movie. Um, totally. But yeah, um, but anyway, yeah, Lee Winnell, he made this movie called Upgrade. It was, it's very underrated. Oh, that was a cool movie. Uh, who was in that? Um, what the fuck is his name? He looks like John Boyega. John Boyega. Yeah. Um, Denzel. Um, what the fuck is his name? He's got one of those three names. <laughs> one of those three names. Yeah, one of those three names, like Joseph Gordon Love Man or whatever. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Or, or right. John Gordon Lovitz. Yeah. John Lovitz was in. I love John Lovitz. Happiness, which is a fucked up movie. Yeah. If you've ever heard of it, um, you'd never guess who else is in it. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, that's fucked up. Logan Marshall mm. Green. Logan Marshall Green was enough. Oh. What would I know him else from? Did you ever watch Spider-Man Homecoming? I did. He was one of the shockers. He wasn't Bokeem Woodbine. He was the guy that got disintegrated by Michael hmm. King. He looked like Tom Hardy. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, Logan Marshall Green was the main guy in Upgrade. Um, I think Upgrade's a really cool movie. Um, and yeah. Logan Animal, you know, he wrote scripts for like the Insidious movies, the first Conjuring movie. Um, wow. He wrote and directed the new Invisible Man movie, which I absolutely adored. Really? Yeah, I thought it was phenomenal. So I, I is that supposed to be like Hollow Man? Hmm. Well, the Invisible Man was way before the Hollow. Oh, okay. It was a Universal monster, um, but it's cool. I mean, it's not even really about him. It's about like it's a really isolated oh, like God. psychological thriller, and it's like if this woman's telling the truth that this guy's here or not. Um, Oh shit, wow. It's fucking, it's fucking bananas. It's All right, really let me, for me. One of um, my friends. Um, plus he, he, like, is a really funny guy. And, like, in Insidious, he was a. Uh, do you remember the Insidious movies at all? Yeah, totally. Do you remember the two, like, the, the film, the Paranormal Nerds in it? Like, the Investigators? No. Okay. He was one of them. Anyway, uh, he's fucking yeah. funny. And he's Australian, and I like Australian people. <laughs> well, um, so one of my friend's yeah. favorite movies, he's a screenwriter. Well, oh, Richard Linklater, my bad. Richard Linklater as well. Keep going. Oh, yeah. Um, his favorite movie is Shutter Island. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think of that movie? Mm -hmm. I think it's a fucking piece of shit. Really? No, oh, I love Shutter Island. Oh, like, isn't that one of, like, the highest rated movies ever? 
No, no, not that. I mean, I think it's it's definitely it's like top one hundred on IMDb. I think is it? I mean, it's not Scorsese's best movie. Scorsese made that? I think so. Holy shit! How do you remember all this shit and then say you've never studied? Uh, is it because you've never studied? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I don't. I just retain. I just that's my thing. I've I always knew shit about movies. I mean, it has an eight point two rating. I mean the. The review, like a million people reviewed it, though. Yeah, well, no, number one's like fucking Shawshank, and it's not got ten. It's like nine point two. I so. think Dark. I think Dark Knight's in the top five, which rightfully so. Uh, really, you think so? Yeah. I, I have no qualms with that. I, I don't have an issue with it. Fuck yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, no, Shutter Islands, I think, is a titties movie. Oh boy. Really yeah. Good. I like shit like that. I like, I like, like I said, it's a very isolated story, obviously, because it takes place on a fucking island. Um, but mentally, it's isolating and it's very intense. And I like mysteries like that. I think mysteries are fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, and like I said, I mean, Leo's fucking titties and he's cute, so it's fine. Um. And I like Mark Ruffalo. Uh, and I really like. Harrison Ford in that movie. I didn't know he was in that. He's not. Okay, I was going to say, I've seen Shutter Island, but it's been a while. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Shutter fucking Island. So it's called Yoshi's fucking fruit adventure or whatever. <laughs> that sounds oh, like, it is called that. Wow. It's um, like my sex life. Yeah, but it's like, where the fuck is Yoshi? And where's the fucking fruit? Yeah. I... I hate Mario Sunshine. <laughs> I think I do too. <laughs> so sorry. It's fine. I was never gonna play it. Yeah. Um, I thought it was a better game than this, but I was well, fucking uh, very I'm doing it any justice, I guess. But no, I don't know. It, it looks. I'd hate it. Oh my god. It does not look good. It doesn't look yeah. amazing. Safe. Let's do. I'm gonna switch games then. Thank God. Um, <laughs> uh, I was gonna. I didn't want to say anything, but I. I was. I was weighing the importance of our friendship. <laughs> this game. Um, no, Shutter Island's cool. Why do you bring it up? Oh, it's my friend's favorite movie. I did. I did a podcast with him for a while, but it seems to have fizzled out. It's um, his favorite movie. Yeah. Well, he oh. loves psychological horror. Sure. I would uh, like to I'd love to him. get him on our show sometime. That'd be fun. But, you I know him, like... Jeremy Cranus. Oh. No no bit here. Yeah, we uh we went to Cincinnati together uh to see Kyle Paul. I love Kyle Paul. Yeah, good dude. And um we just hung out for like <laughs> a really long car ride and uh it was a great time. It's really fucking long. But nice. uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways, um, and also, uh, I guess you probably don't know Ben very well. Hold on. Oh, the stream. Hold on. Hold on. Um, Are we live still? Yeah. Okay. Cool, cool. What game are we playing? <laughs> uh, you'll see. Okay, sorry, just getting set up. I need to set the stream. I mean, we're still live on YouTube, but uh, not on here. There we go. All right, so this game, so this game kind of sucks. Okay, is it like worse than what we just played? Yeah. Yeah, oh, well, no, this one just sucks, sucks. Like there's, this is so bad, it's good. This I've is so bad, the, it's good. Have you ever played the Fifth Element video game? There was a Fifth Element video game? I think it's rated like one of the worst of all time. Me and Richie bought it for the 
Oh no, we didn't buy it. Wait, did we? Yes, we did. We bought it at a garage sale. Um, it was fucking hilariously terrible. Let's see. Let's do this. All right. So this movie's great. Uh, or game. Sorry. Um. Sigma Alpha Two heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. So this game, um. I loved as a kid. I loved it now. It just sucks. Um, <laughs> I'd say 90% of it, people are talking over each other because the port of it sucks. That's fucking the hilarious. audio mixing doesn't work. Was um, Sonic voiced by Jaleel White? I don't know. I mean, this is like 2002 or three, probably. I think I vaguely remember this game, actually. So it's it's fucking fantastic because every Sonic game starts with just so I'm, you're not digesting. This is a military air carrier. Sonic mm -hmm. ripped off a part of it and is now using it to snowboard. You no, know, I'm, I'm completely aware of how fucking hilarious. Okay. Is. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, this game yeah, no, sucks, but you'll I'm like it. I'm completely digesting how fucking ridiculous that idea is. Oh, cool. This is a skate game that I used to play on the fucking internet. <laughs> Pretty much. Well, just for now, just for now. This, this game is... has no fucking clue what it is. No, I know. I do think I remember this. I really do. What if I told you that a large portion of this game is like like a Webkin simulator? A Webkin style simulator. What if I told you I've never been more in love with you? <laughs> That's <laughs> not true. <laughs> Could you see yourself getting married? To you? No. Sure, I mean... I secretly just weep. <laughs> um, no, well, just in general. Uh, yes. Isn't there a secret? What about, like, by 30? Yeah. Wow. I want to get married tomorrow. What? Would you? No. no. If you, like, really found the one, I guess? No, I wouldn't rush it, because I used to just not believe in it. I, I really don't. After my last relationship, I was like, okay. Yeah. I was like, I was like, okay, I mean, maybe I... You know, soap! Is that a fucking ad for soap? Yep. For Sonic me. wears soap shoes. I no, swear to God. No, the does not. No, I oh my God, he fucking does. You've got to be... Uh, this is the most dated motherfucking game it's I've ever so... seen in my... Dated. No. Who the fuck? Yeah. No, dude, this game is Was fucking Tony awesome. Tony Hawk, an executive producer? So, here's the thing. Fucking See, look at that. So oh. There were Sonic sh soap shoes, I think, too, for no. this crossover. Yeah, no, dude, it's no. fucking bananas. That's hilarious. Yeah. Sega love that shit. They do crossovers for anything. In Monkey Ball, they use dull bananas. Mm -hmm. So, like, whatever. It's... And Sonic, this is my critique of Sonic uh, and uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog is a spinoff of this, I guess. And they're like, all right, we need to reach out to an edgier audience, which I don't know why they thought they could do that or why they should, because Sonic's already pretty edgy. I agree. But, um, so Shadow the Hedgehog is a game for the GameCube that I also want to play on stream. It's even worse than this. Um... And Shadow, who rivals the fastest creature on the planet, yeah, rides around on motorcycles, yes, and curses, <laughs> and uses and uses guns Wait, in the, in the to game. save his. This is all real. To save no. his human girlfriend named Maria. There, no. and, while there's 800 911s happening. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's a demon invasion and Wait fucking buildings are falling. Are you talking about the fucking game where it looks like he's on the cover for a fucking Michael Bay movie? Yes. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, he curses and you drives on a motorcycle to save his human girlfriend. And there's 800 911s going on with fucking demons and buildings falling. And he's like, who am I? <laughs> he's just wandering the city <laughs> that's up in fucking flames. It's just like, Maria... It's so fucking silly, and I it has to make you wonder. It's like, did does Sega take this seriously? Do they know? I remember his girlfriend's name. I think 
Her name Maria. Was Amy. I thought it was Amy. No, that's Sonic's girlfriend. Sonic's okay. Yeah, she's a. What the fuck is Amy? I don't think she's a hedgehog. I'm glad that they just decided let's give these guys names like Sonic and Shadow, but then they, 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 their companions' names are Maria and Amy. Dude, uh, Sonic has a real name that they did in the comics. Oh really? It's fucking hilarious. What I forget. I forget what it is out of the top of my head. It's like okay. It's like okay. Ubi or some shit. <laughs> I swear to God. I did swear I write to God. It? Did you write it? I mean, who else would fucking say his name is Ubi? Hold on. Sonic real name. His name is... Yep. Ogilvy. <laughs> Ogilvy Maurice Hedgehog. No, dude, that's literally a name I came up with. <laughs> Ogilvy Maurice. I literally, I literally say Maurice. Or it's Ogilvy, names. I'm sorry. Ogilvy. Ogilvy oh, Maurice Hedgehog. It's fucking crazy. It's the fucking Maurice that gets me. Ogilvy. <laughs> Ogilvy, yeah, like, Maurice. Like, oh, yeah. or, fucking Maurice. My name is Maurice. Ogilvy I actually think Maurice. Ogilvy's a cute name. It's a cute and name. And you add Maurice to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice okay. is on his own an overwhelming name. Well, I know. Okay, so his name's Ogilvy. Oh, that's kind of cute. Okay, what should his yeah. middle name be? What about Maurice? I know too scared to say no to him. Would you say, Tom? Maurice. He's holding like a knife. But of course it makes the most sense for our most beloved Sonic the Hedgehog's middle name to be motherfucking Maurice. <laughs> you don't have dude. a problem you don't have a problem with that motherfucker, dude. No, no, dude, this game's diversity is fucking crazy. Oh, I know well, You I just wait so until you see the next character. Like, Real White used to voice Sonic in like the late nineties. Really? They yeah. switch between a couple of voice actors, um, yeah, but they're yeah. usually pretty consistent he with Sonic's them, voice. He voiced them for a few uh, animated shows. Back in oh, wow. Yeah. Sonic X. My name yeah. Maurice. Ogilvy. Ogilvy oh, Maurice. That's the funniest fucking shit. It's, it's like, who was self-aware of this? Because someone has to be. Because, like, at, at least at, after a point, because, like, Sonic Boom's hilarious. Of it's course. so self-aware, but, um, like, all their games suck. Pretty much every 3D, there's, like, two good, three, two decent 3D Sonics, and that's it. Um, right. let's put it this way. The reason his name is Maurice is not for any other reason than somebody going, dude, what if his fucking middle name was Maurice? What if it, what if it was Maurice? Yeah, well, this is a deciding was, fucking comics, there was, too. There was, there was nobody going... Uh, Maurice, okay, that's fine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That works. That can be a placeholder just in case. Yeah, that's fine. No, the fucking reason was because they go, dude, hear me out. What if his fucking name was Maurice? That'd be fucking ridiculous. Dude, what if... Do you think QA will check it, or are they just gonna, like, read the paper and be like, all right, fuck it. Fuck. They're not even gonna read it. That's not how that fight's supposed to go, by the way. It's just... <laughs> that was really you're supposed to wait for him to land, but it's like, this game doesn't... Alright, you're gonna love this, you're gonna love this. This cutscene. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Just wait. 